Hi, this is the second part about the tutorial of the integration of MeshLab uh, with Act3D web service and we start from the result of the first part of the tutorial where we got some uh, geometry starting from the data extracted from a subset of five images among all the images which were used for the reconstruction. Actually, we see that the, rec the reconstructed surface is quite impressive for being generated uh, from images, but it's probably a bit more noisy than uh, the real object. So, this part of the tutorial will show some uh, operations that can be applied on every model that you get from the Act3D web service in order to improve the final result and to remove part of the noise. The first part of these uh, operations is the cleaning of the model. So, if there are parts of the surface which are not uh, part of the object that we want to to reconstruct uh, then we can uh, select them uh, using any kind of selection tool that we uh, already have seen in other tutorials and we can remove them so we can remove the part of the geometry which is not part of the object of interest and for example another ex useful cleaning filter is the removal of our reference vertices because uh, usually the result uh, which is the output of the first reconstruction uh, has some uh, uh, reference vertices and so this is the first operation so it's cleaning of the initial model and then a second uh, useful operation usually is a sampling of the initial 3D model so we have uh, we can apply this very simple sampling filter and if, we, if we're starting with a model which has a bit more than one uh, million vertices we can re usually you can easily reduce them by one half without losing uh, most of the uh, information about the original geometry and this gives you the possibility to s keep on work working on data which is simpler and uh, because the we would like to make a remeshing of the model, so reconstruct the, the original geometry and we will use the Poisson filter. The Poisson filter is, uh, as you know, works uh, with the point clouds with normals, so if we sample the model and we keep only the vertices, we, we have the perfect uh, input for the Poisson reconstruction. So first of all we make a sampling by selecting a subset of uh, the original points which define the geometry, and then we can launch the Poisson reconstruction and clearly we need to find uh, the right number for the reconstruction I'll try with 11, 10, it will take some time in order to get a reconstruction of the model so we will have a new surface starting from the original data once that the Poisson reconstruction has been completed we now have a reconstructed surface that you see was able to preserve the original detail of the 3D model uh, but uh, we also remove part of the noisy data. Now there is a second stage of cleaning that is necessary to remove all the parts which are invented by the Poisson trying to create a closed surface. There are several ways to remove these parts, a uh, very fast way to do that uh, is for example by using the selection faces with edges longer than since all the parts which are uh, added by the Poisson uh, have a quite a rough triangulation we can usually use the uh, parameter given by the hatch threshold and you will see that most of the um, added part of the Poisson reconstruction will be selected that can be very easily removed so that we get we got uh, most of the important part of the surface preserved there are other ways for example we can try to be a bit more precise you see to uh, remove also the parts near the border which don't are not part of the original model but you see here that we were able to um, reconstruct the geometry in a quite nice way but we lost the color attribute but just don't panic because there is a very simple filter that gives the possibility to transfer the color information
from a source model to uh, uh, a destination model and uh, this filter is in sampling and it's called a vertex attribute transfer so this filter uh, gives you the possibility to transfer a, an attribute from a, a mesh to another mesh and the most easy one to transfer is the color so you just need to show choose the original mesh we will choose the first level that we create and uh, the target mesh and then you make the transferring of the color attribute from one mesh to the other okay at the end of this operation you get the final model that you see is much more clean respect to the original one so you see we started from a model like this one which was a bit too noisy for our taste and uh, we got a much more clean model uh, which preserved uh, most of the important geometric detail and we were able to preserve al also the color so this is more or less the, uh, a typical pipeline that we need to fulfill to get a better model starting from the output of the first part of the D3D uh, integration and so uh, you need first of all to clean the original model then usually you subsample the model you apply the Poisson filter you have, you have to clean it again and then you have to uh, transfer the color information from the original model through the reconstructed one and then clearly usually there is another cleaning uh, operation to get the very final result but as you can see the, 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 the number of operation is not very uh, big and it's quite easy and uh, it also ad adapts to uh, almost any kind of uh, reconstruction that you can have from images so uh, have a nice time trying this on uh, your own dataset and uh, thanks for your attention bye bye